When a compound is dissolved in water, it involves exchange of heat. This is known as heat of solution. Some of the compounds dissolve with evolution of heat. This causes increase in temperature of the water. This is known as exothermic dissolution. Some of the compounds require heat for dissolution. This causes lowering of temperature. This is known as endothermic dissolution. We will try out three dissolutions and see which of them are exothermic and which are endothermic. We need some water, sodium hydroxide, ammonium nitrate, sodium chloride. Note the temperature of the water. It is 20 degrees Celsius. Add water to the first beaker. and then add sodium hydroxide. Stir well. Note the temperature of the solution. The temperature is about 48 degrees. Now add water to the second beaker and then add ammonium nitrate and again check the temperature. The temperature is 8 degrees. Now add water to the third beaker and then add sodium chloride. Note the temperature, it is about 22 degrees. So we see that the dissolution of sodium hydroxide is highly exothermic. Heat is given out during dissolution. However, dissolution of ammonium nitrate turned out to be endothermic. Heat is required for dissolution. It is taken from water and its surroundings. Both these examples show a large exchange of heat during the dissolution process. On the other hand, in the case of sodium chloride, there is only a small change in temperature, indicating only a minute exchange of heat taking place during dissolution.